Hey guys, Talem here, and this is a quick follow-up to my XCOM 2 How to Mod video. The reason being is that not long after the video was completely done, I discovered the most amazing tool for XCOM 2. While perusing Reddit, I came across this wonderful gem of a program called the Alternative Mod Launcher. Now what is awesome about this mod is it solves a very big problem that a lot of people have with XCOM 2 and that is conflicts. What mod conflicts with another mod? If it's not listed on the mod author's page, often you're just left to wonder, will this work with this mod? Now this program of course doesn't give you all the answers. It just helps point you in the right direction of mod conflict. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. Now right here at the download section, you can just give it a click. Now it is an archive. All you need to do is download it and extract the archive into any folder you wish. I put mine in my game utilities folder so I have quick and easy access to it, which I am going to skip to for right now. Right here under XCOM 2, the XCOM 2 mod launcher, and there we go. This is everything that will be inside the archive. I'm going to go ahead and shut this here. I do not need it any longer. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a click, just going to open it up real quick. I have opened it before, so your screen will show some differences and I'll explain that once I open it up. Now note, it will automatically find your installed mods, there is no need to browse to location. So that's an awesome little perk. Over here where it says state, all of yours should initially say new until you let the program check all your mods. How do you check all the mods? Well, you just click, and I like to do Control A, kind of a select all hotkey. Click the box, and they should all select. And right away, anything that conflicts will share a nice red bar and the word conflict. Now, as you notice, the two that are uh, conflicting on my list are both long word mods. That's because if we go up here to overrides, you see that they all edit the UI Armory main menu. Now these mods are designed to work together. I'm assuming this is just a clone file that each of the Long War packs have. So that's not really a big deal. They probably serve the same functionality. Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm fairly certain that that's what it is. And on that note, I do want to discuss, let's go back here, this very important thing up here called order. Yes, XCOM 2 does have a mod order and how it works is the further down the line the mod is the later it is loaded and hence the priority that it has during the function of the game so if you have two mods that alter the same class file in different ways the one that's loaded last is going to have priority there is no melding of the two together so you have all the changes this just doesn't work that way so when you are using this you have to make sure to not only read all the author's notes Peruse the post, be sure that you know exactly what each of the mods function is so you don't have any overlap because that would just cause instability and problems in your game. But what this program does primarily, at least for me, is it gives me a really good indicator of problem areas. It's like, okay, let's say example, let's say this mod and this mod both conflict somehow. So I need to go to these pages and see if I can find a solution. If somebody else has had this and the author has given them some advice. If none are present, you might want to post, might want to find out because the stability of your game should be top priority because nobody wants to play an unstable game. It's not any fun. Now you can launch XCOM 2 from this launcher. What it does is when it just runs the game straight, it bypasses the Firaxis XCOM 2 launch window so that is completely gone and yes I, I think it actually does start quicker without that launcher because you can enable and disable mods from this list so that is also pretty cool if that's a way you want to do it in my previous how to mod video I showed you how you would have to navigate and try to find the steam ID number to get to the mod folder well on this one you can just click on it with uh, right click and go to show and explore and then boom it opens up right to it and you can find the name and the numbers right there. Saves you a lot of time, doesn't it, folks? <laughs> it, I was like very happy when I found this. No longer having to do the cut and paste nonsense just to find what a darn number is. So this will allow you to edit the INI files for things like configurable mission timers with a lot more speed. So you don't have to go rooting around your explorer. And that's really nice. A couple of more little features that I want to show you real quick 
is you can clean the mods. Now this is a risky thing, you don't always want to do this. And if you're curious of how this works, I really suggest reading up on it because you can destroy the, not only the mods that it cleans, but your save games as well. So that's something you want to keep in mind before you try to utilize something like this. Give this a close. All right, now there are a few other little tiny features. This is a work in progress. It's not a complete product yet, but for what you need it to do, it does really, really well. There's different things here. You can save your settings. You can reset the settings that you have done, undo it if you think that you've made a mistake. There are a lot of features that you could look on this site's page, read the FAQ if there's one available, and the Reddit postings, and um, really get to understand what this program is about. For those of you that mod XCOM 2, this can be your best friend. Because as you see, the amount of mods that I decided just to go overboard on my normal amount, because usually I stick to around 12 or so. But this one gave me the ability to not have to deal with the headache of, you know, does this conflict, does that conflict, and then trying to look at the class files. This makes it so much easier because I know that everything that says okay does not share any changes that another mod does. Now it does not mean there won't be any problems because if the mod hasn't been updated for a new DLC, if it uh, is just very poorly made and glitchy, it can still cause problems. That's where taking the time to read about the mod on the author's page comes into practice and that's something that you all need to do. But I'm gonna put a link to this down below. It is absolutely 100% free. If you like it, let the developers know. Say, hey, this is awesome. Thanks for the hard work, keep it up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. This is Talem, and I'll see you commanders later.